Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Polygon Medic. I have changed the wave count very slightly here um, in that I now, just for the sake of simplicity, expect that the um, wave one high was already in here at around $1.05. The reason is just that we came down since then in a very clear three wave move and it is a bit too um, it's a bit too much for generally a wave four correction. So I'm rather focusing here on the idea that this was a wave one and we're coming down at two, even though the idea that this was a one, two, three, four, and then the five would still be coming, that idea is still valid. But um, it, it's still not that, that idea, but I'm just thinking because we hit the 50% FIP level, it just from, from looking at the proportions, mm -hmm it just matches better. In the short term, it wouldn't make a difference anyway. Um, it's just that should we really lose that 65 cent level, we are definitely going to be in the wave two. Yeah, then the wave four is just completely unrealistic. But in the short term and in the long, no, in the short term, it doesn't really make a great difference uh, which of these scenarios they are. So just to, um, for any new viewers, we thought before that this could also be just the wave four and the wave five would still be coming to complete the wave one up here and then the wave two would follow afterwards but for me it more and more makes sense to move it like that and say okay wave one was finished here and we are coming down now in this abc pattern which could by the way be complete yeah we hit my targets and we could now at any moment in time start to move up so polygon generally one of the better charts yeah five wave move to the upside and then ABC down. This is exactly what we want to see. There is still, I mean, you know, there is still 50% drop possible um, for Matic without making a lower low. So it, it is for me quite likely that the low is already in here. This view would change if we drop below $47 uh, cents, dollars would be nice, cents because it would just make the entire wave pattern a little bit less reliable. But overall, yeah, as long as we stay above 47 cents, not dollars, we could focus on higher, um, sort of on the, in the long term, yeah, um, or looking at the bigger picture. But here in the sort of micro counting, um, we came obviously down in this wave C, yeah, up here, when we broke 82 cents, I told you that I would expect at least yeah, prices in this region. So we nailed here this reversal area and this one. And the question is now, is this a valid reversal? Or do we get once more into this green area here, the smaller green area? Um, this is the area where I would primarily expect the reversal. We could extend the wave two down all the way, you know, but we don't need to. Yeah, this is for me the first let's say the first possibility where we can really reverse and move up in a wave three. Yeah, wave three targets, I think around, what did we say in the previous video? Um, let's just calculate that again. If we get the reversal done here, yeah, and we talk about that in a minute, but target would be, if, we've, if we have bottomed already, target would be around $1.90 for a wave three. Um, so how likely is it that we have bottomed already in this correction? First of all, we need to understand it's possible. Why? Because we have hit my target area. And this is an area which is, you know, I'm, I'm applying the Elliott Waves base. They, they are based on the rules of market structure. So there are certain levels that need to be reached. When they are reached, we need to be ready for reversal. And these levels were reached, as you can see here. If we really reverse here, the FIPS have nailed it again, because this is exactly the 50% FIP level at 70 cents. Now. As long as we stay above 69 cents, we can assume that the bottom was already in and this count is valid. One, two, and we would next move up. Um, when will this count get less reliable? It will be invalidated below 69 cents, but it will become less reliable below 71. If we drop below the 78.6% FIP level, we get into a, or onto a yeah, slippery slope, okay? So there it gets unreliable and I would be leaning more towards the bearish count. At the moment, we're really here between two scenarios. I can't tell you which one is more likely, 
there's an absolute possibility the bottom is in. We now need to wait for signals. Um, again, if we drop below 71 cents, I would say the uptrend is less reliable and will probably come down once more and could go in the first instance all the way down to 65 cents, where we have another chance to reverse. Um, but if we hold the 71 cent level, very possible we break up, yeah. So 71 is a key support and 69. And against these levels, I'm focusing on higher, or we can focus on higher. Uh, on the flip side, as long as we stay below 77 cents, the downtrend is very possible. Possible. So really sitting between two scenarios, and you now know if we break a certain level, which of these ones will get more likely. I can also give you a target for that wave three, because this could become a potentially interesting trade. Let's say we found support here, um, then the target would be 85 cent for the wave three to the upside. And yeah, that's my update about Medic. Hopefully you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.